Welcome guys, this is the first 30 of Minecraft Dungeons. I am super excited for this, I've been waiting for this, and I hope everybody else is as excited as I am. Um, Minecraft has been a huge staple uh, in this community and in my life for a while now, and I'm really, really excited to play this game finally. So, um, this is gonna be the first 30. We're gonna basically, if you haven't ever seen one of my episodes of the first 30 before, this is where we play through the first 30 minutes of the game and you get to see my reactions to everything that goes on within it. Um, and it's very likely this is going to become a stable. I do stream on Twitch every Monday, Tuesday, and Saturday at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm streaming actually live right now, um, so you can always check, and I might be streaming as well. All my links will be in the description below. For those of you on Twitch, if you're looking for my YouTube, it is in the panels, the About section below as well. So I'm going to set my timer and say, Alexa, set a timer for 30 minutes. All right, guys. So we've got a text-to-speech option. I feel like... I don't know what that's going to be, so I'm going to go with... Option change yes. to on. Oh yeah, we, we don't left want that. Use left thumbstick left or right to change <laughs> option, or that. use left thumbstick up or down to select no. another option. I don't want text-to-speech. Hard pass on the text-to-speech. And now I'm having internet issues? That's cool. And I just dropped a few frames. Let's see if it persists, because why not? All right, subtitles on or off, I'm gonna keep on. Enemy color, all kinds of options. I think red's the easiest to go with, chat wheel type. Hold and release or press and select. I think press and select's acceptable. Um, all right. I feel like that looks pretty good. It was a time of great adventure and danger. <laughs> Shunned by his kin, an illager wanders the land, seeking a new home. But all he found was hatred. Driven by rage against those who wronged him, he wandered to whatever end. Until at long last, the Illager found something that would change him forever. The Orb of Dominance. And of course the orbs are cute. Corrupted by evil, driven by vengeance, the Arch Illager made all bow before him. And if they did not bow, they would fall. The Illagers raided the land. <laughs> you would have the valor. The purity of heart to stand against the Arch Illager's reign of terror. Well, not that one. <laughs> Maybe you. Nice. Welcome to the first 30, guys. <laughs> they just fist bump? Nice. Okay, all right, so... That looks pretty good. Little raven locks here. Um... Lots of... Oh. You can get a straightforward Steve if you want. So it doesn't look like I can use any of my skins that I've already gotten in Minecraft. And this dude looks pretty cool with his his armor the way it is. Honestly, I think I'm going here. This one's not bad. Let me 
mean, out of all the skins, it's like this one and this one. Go with her. All right. So, as I understand it, I can choose an online game or not an online game. I'm gonna go with an offline game, I think, just to start off. And also, if we have any problems during recording, that should uh, that should alleviate them. It, it basically this way, the, there won't be anybody randomly joining or anything like that. So we should be good. And then I'll open it up afterwards. Getting some. The village is and audio, and I'm not sure if it's no the game doubt or if this it's is the work my of the evil arch Illager and his minions. They sweep across the land like a ravenous scourge, subjugating or destroying all in their path. This is a time for heroes like yourself. Make haste. The villagers have need of you. Alright, so this should be like a tutorial part, I'm guessing. triggers arrows oh that's okay all right well movement's pretty straightforward I uh, can't go into the houses nice This looks so cool. I think it's the game. I think the game actually might be glitching slightly. I can't pull the arrow out. So I get a hot bar, I don't have anything in it yet. All right, so I can still see my person under under all that and enemies. So sometimes you have to defeat some enemies to get past a certain spot. I like the lumber mill over there. Pick up arrows. Alright, so A does everything. Alright, whoa! That's hot. <laughs> that looks like the path I should go. I have, oh, I have to go one of two different ways? What's this way? Let me in! Alright, I'm not getting in the tower. So I won't have to do too much jumping. Also looks like I won't be retrieving arrows. So the enemies are highlighted in red whenever you're targeting them. Alright. Good to know. I can't get up there. Alright. I am trying to explore certain areas, like, see what I can get to, what I can't. Emeralds will be money that I'll probably be able to buy weapons and armor with along with finding armor along the way. Ow. Whoa! That's a Johnny, right? I think it's constantly healing me. Supplies! <laughs> Supplies! Ooh, bread! Functionally, this is actually really nice on Xbox. I, I feel like the controls are not horrible. Um, a lot of dungeon crawlers, you aim in certain ways, but this will actually give you the chance to use uh, a dash, it looks like, or a roll to evade enemies. Wow, that was pretty cool. I actually took some fall damage. <gasps> There's fall damage?
Uh oh. Oh my. Enchantment point. An enchant Every level gives you an enchantment point, which uh, upgrade items. Open the inventory to try it out. Sure. Uh. Oh wow. Um. Okay. So I can upgrade my sword, or I can. Okay. Man. How powerful am I going to make my bow? You can choose from randomized enchantments for every item. Select one now. Freezing or sharpness. Deal more damage. Deal increased damage against already wounded enemies. That's going to be less important right now. Be stronger against bosses. And this slows mobs for after hit. Like, sharpness would be the, the most important right now. Or we have uh, the fire shot grows in air, dealing extra damage to distant targets. Okay. Uh, fired arrows sometimes gain the piercing effect, which flies through. Or accelerate. Increase attack speed for consecutive shot. Resets one second after... Okay. So, I would fire two shots fast? Plus 25% max damage is pretty good. A fireworks arrow on into your quiver. The arrow explodes on hit. Hmm. Okay. Now the artifact is equipped. You can use it whenever you want. Whenever I want. So I feel like I'm not gaining arrows. Oh, how do I, how do I jump? How's I doing to jump? Right bumper? Ha ha! Ha ha! That's pretty sweet. Wonder what the uh, chance of falling and dying is here. I don't want to equip it yet. <laughs> kind of feel like I should be able to go. <gasps> There's water and stuff, and I can go through it. Alright, so you can just get right in water. That, I kind of feel like I have to equip it, otherwise it's not gonna... You can blast multiple enemies with a single arrow using this powerful artifact. So now I have this <laughs> to worry about. Wait, it actually stopped me from going up these stairs. I'm going everywhere where it's not telling me to go. And there's nothing there. Uh, it's just kind of disappointing. I want something. Like, I, even if it's some more enemies. Just give me something. Something to randomly find.
<laughs> I mean, maybe there's more to come back to later. The, the menu box is definitely annoying. You were too late to rescue the villagers, but don't fret. They're still out there somewhere waiting for a hero to find them. All right, cool. All right, so there's a camp. I don't know what I get to do at camp. I get a treasure chest with stuff in it, I'm guessing. Fishing rod. Nice. All right. These are training dummies. Alright. So the right analog stick, as far as I can tell, is... Oh, the camp is exactly where I just got to. Alright. What is this? That's a map, all right. That's pretty cool. This is probably gonna be his castle. Island Realms, oh my gosh. Okay, so there's gonna be expansions. That's nice to see. There's piggies. Okay, so basically this will be like your home that you get to uh, decorate. Crafting? No crafting. I'm gonna guess that you get to repopulate the village. Which should also be pretty cool. Alright, let's go do more missions. Find more gear. Do more things. So, Creeper Woods. Alright, sure. I see creepers. That's probably bad. But I also see villagers that are trapped. So we have to free them. Free some villagers. Gain some things. So far this play is really nice. Um, I actually expected it to be... You know, very similar to like Diablo and how they transported it into the the Xbox realm. It doesn't play like that. It plays better. By the Arch Illager's decree, all free folk are now enemies of the Illager Empire. Somewhere in these woods, a caravan is transporting villager prisoners to labor in far off lands. Find the caravan and stop the Illagers. Well, there's no right. telling what dreadful doom will befall our villager friends. That's pretty cool. Like a fallen tree that bridges a gap. That's pretty cool. It reversed it on me there. That was kind of weird. Can I fall off? Uh, the answer is yes. You know that moment when you're like, maybe I'll try this. And it, you try it and it actually works. Still getting the range down on this sword. I have 80 arrows, that's pretty good. Well, there's just a few zombies in this woods. Here. 
So I don't know if the health like comes back automatically. It doesn't feel like it does, but or it should, but it seems like it has. Holy snikes. always try to back up, which is not something they have tried to do in the past. Oh my. The XP coming towards you is nice. You can't pick up your arrows. That's kind of a bummer. Because that was a Minecraft style thing, but man, these guys are beefy. Can I hit the sheep? What do I do with the sheep? It seems like you can just kill the randoms. Alright, well this is pretty cool. I don't, I can't tell if there's like a bonus for hitting him in the back. I mean, that would make sense if there was, but I do not see that that is a thing. Small chest. I don't know, I got a couple things. I feel like the apples are a short-term thing. They're always... That creeper was still trying uh, fish. Alright, well, fishing rod is going to pull enemies, and mobs in general, but it's not going to let me actually fish as far as I can tell. So, I mean, there is an icon on the map, it's telling me which way to go. Just trying to see if exploring around outside of that is going to get me anything. Other than lost. <laughs> There's a good chance it gets me lost. Hello. There's that down there. So I picked up a higher level bow. It doesn't have the growing enchantment on it. Feels like I should save my enchantment points.
I mean, I like the random caches of, of yeah, as I said, rupees. Emeralds? no shield so it's not like I can just block ow shadow brew all I don't know if you can fall off all areas, but I'm going to try not to fall off areas. He just headbutted me. I feel like the, uh, the firing feels very familiar to, like, Path of Exile. Alright. So melee base when it comes to ranged attackers like like the skeletons, um, your style of uh, approach is is very much a uh, have to bob and weave style thing. Oh lord, did he just get bigger? Guys are like super weak, but they make other guys really strong. Got it. Okay. You can use the bow and, and then the sword very fast. So, so like a combo of like shooting the guy to stun him. And then hitting him. Seems pretty good. What? Is that like a secret way or something? Um, we're gonna not mess up here. I like it a lot. It feels a lot more like Path of Exile and, and Diablo. Um, the hack and slash is like the sword is the uh, A button, and then the bow is is the right bumper or, or the right trigger, and everything seems right in place. It doesn't feel like Minecraft as much, but it's still usually that homey feel of Minecraft. Um, all right. Oh, I can sneak behind here. That's right. Bam. You know, you get you're basically finding, releasing villagers, like. It, it, it feels like Diablo and and this might be like the easy way that got, that you get people into like playing games like Diablo um, there's a roll there so there's a roll there's a dodge um, through that and then you can also like is that the same thing Hang on, uh, yeah it's like the same thing yep so you can use the right analog stick to roll or you can <laughs> um, or you can use the uh, right, right bumper, which I might have to see if there's a way to set the controls on that. And plus the enemies are familiar because they are all Minecraft enemies. <laughs> can I cut the shirt cane? No. So there's a lot less of like actual like building destroying, it's more fighting. Um, yeah, this this is good. Functionally, it, it works. It works very well. It feels like you're basically, like I said, playing Diablo in the Minecraft world. 
And there are bosses. I mean, that bow is shiny. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. I'm sure the webs slow me. That would make sense. It's a loot pig! So like a loot goblin, only instead it's a loot pig. Alexa, stop. Alright guys, well thank you. Uh, this has been the first 30 of Minecraft Dungeons. I like it a lot. I do. And uh, we're going to do some reviews on this a little bit later. Uh, we'll get to that uh, in another video, but if you're watching on YouTube, thank you so much. Uh, make sure that you subscribe as well as you can check out my Twitch channel. Like I said, we, we stream every Monday, Tuesday, and Saturday at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, um, and that is twitch.tv slash kingsilverdeath. Um, anybody on Twitch, hang out for a while because we're going to keep playing this and um, get a little bit more into it. Uh, and guys on YouTube, click on one of the other two videos, and we'll see you next time.